nature is the most impressive architect of them all. The majesty of Bryce Canyon serves as great inspiration to chemist Peter Stang's molecular designs. I use Bryce as an inspiration quite often. I occasionally take members of my research group down there and say, look around, look at some of these formations, and let's think about if we could do something similar in the laboratory and see if we can make something special. Much like a child with a Lego toy set, Stang neatly builds his molecules one by one by one, or as he calls it, self-assembly. Nature uses self-assembly because it's a very efficient way of building the molecules that are essential for living organisms. I make small molecules so that the pieces recognize each other and come together the right way to make much more complex molecules. Called supermolecules, Stang can now design complex structures with size, shape, and dimension in mind. These cages have cavities inside into which one can put a guest molecule. Stang believes that in the future, the molecular cage will have the ability to recognize certain tumors. And on board will be its traveling companion, the guest molecule, serving as an anti-cancer agent. I grew up in Hungary until 1956, when the entire family left Hungary during the Hungarian Revolution, and uh, we settled in the United States. Like many immigrants, English was not Stang's native language. Yet despite his struggles in those early years, today he serves as editor for the Journal of the American Chemical Society, the flagship publication of the organization. My office handles approximately 12,000 manuscripts a year. This is doubled in the period that I took over. And this simply ref uh, reflects the richness of chemistry, the depth and breadth of modern chemistry, and the rapid changing of the field and emerging new areas. This is probably one of the only countries that can take people from anywhere in the world and then gives them the opportunity to succeed, to develop, to return something to the country.